Hello Year 3, and today we're up to chapter 25 and this is The Blanket Tunnel. They ran into a deep warm tunnel. It was nothing like earth, it was made of warm web stuff. Still, it felt wonderful after the openness of the floor. They felt covered and safe. They ran along, one behind the other. George first, Harry behind him, ran faster and ran right over George so he could be in the lead. But the smell was very, very strong in here. Harry stopped suddenly. George bumped into him. What? There's something strange here. George came alongside and they felt a strange thing with their feelers. Well, it's me, that's for sure, said George. Suddenly, the two senties realised that the smell they'd been smelling was a foodie smell. But it was something they'd certainly never eaten. I'm hungry, said Harry. Me too, said George. Shall we? But they didn't. Something stopped them from having a bite. They kept feeling the meaty thing which blocked the tunnel. It rose steeply in front of them. A meat cliff. They felt and fell. George fell in one direction, Harry in the other. After a while, they ran back to each other. This meat cliff is only part of it, whatever it is, said Harry. It's huge, said George. It goes on and on, said Harry. No end to it, said George. It's got bumps and hollows, said Harry. Some parts are hairy, said George. It must be some kind of hairy biter. Maybe, said Harry, but the most ghastly thought had come into his head. He dared not say it. They were quiet for a moment. Then George said, let's climb up it. Harry said slowly, you know what I think it is. But George didn't want to listen. We can't stay here, he said. He began scrambling up this big, warm meat mountain. Harry couldn't bear to be left behind. He scrambled up after him. We'll have to wait and find out what the meat mountain is next. What do you think it might be? Bye for now.